Hi, and welcome back to Playing with Sounds and Letters. Speaking, listening, reading, and spelling. Today's sound stars are P, P, B, B, T, T, D, D, M, M, N, N, short I, I, and short U, A. Uh. Get ready. You will need writing paper, a pencil, one crayon, or a marker. And if you don't have these, then stop the video for just a minute and go get what you need. I'll be waiting. Ready? Now you will use your pencil and paper to give yourself a plus for every one you get right. I will say the sounds and you guess what the word is. Let's see what we can do. Here's number one. M, a, d. You are correct if you said mud. Give yourself a plus. Number two. D, a, d. You are correct if you said dud. Number three, b, a, d. If you said bud, you are right. Number four, b, i, d. You are correct if you said bid. Number five, b, i, High five if you said bit. Number six. B. A. T. Did you say but? That is right. Number seven. M. A. T. If you said mutt, you are right. Number eight, m, i, t. You are correct if you said mit. Number nine, p, i, t. Did you say pit? You are right. And number ten, p, i, n. If you said pin, you got it right. How many words did you guess right? Count up all of your pluses and write that number on the paper someplace. Get ready. We're going to track down the sounds that change between our words. You're going to become a sound detective. You will need writing paper with 10 lines on it. So, if you do not have 10 lines left on your paper or enough space to draw 10 lines on your paper, then stop the video and get yourself another piece of paper. I will be waiting. Now, you will not be writing letters. You will be drawing circles and triangles. I will say a word and you will say each sound in the word. You will draw a circle for every consonant sound that you hear and a triangle for every vowel sound that you hear. Let me show you what I mean. This is the way we will do the next exercise. I will say a word and you will say it back. Then you will say each sound in the word. T, I, The next word is tack, t, a, k. Now we want to know where the sound changed. Both of these sounds are t, but this sound is i, the middle sound is i in our first word, and it's a 
in our second word. So I will color this one because it's different. Now the next word is sack. S -a -k. Now this sound was t, but now it is s, so I will color this one. Now on the next one we have sat. Sack and sat. Sat. S -a -t. This time it's the last sound that changed. So that's the one I color. And that is the way we will work with the sounds in this exercise. Here we go. Here is your first word. Now remember, you're drawing circles for the consonants and triangles for the vowel sounds. Number one, mud. Number two, dud. Remember, you want to draw, color the one that is different in the second one. Compare the two, mud, dud. Which sound, which shape should be colored? Which one was different? Number three, bud. Number two was dud. Number three is bud. Which one is different in number three? Number four is bid. Number three was bud. Now number four is bid. Which one is different in number four? Number five, bit. Number four was bid, number five is bit. Which one is different? Number six, but. Number five was bit, number six is but. Number seven, Mutt. Number six was but. Number seven is mutt. Number eight, mitt. Seven was mutt. Eight is mitt. Number nine is pit. Number eight was mitt, number nine, pit. And number 10, our last one is pin. Number nine was pit, number 10 was pin. Here are the answers for the detective work you just did. So let's take a look and see where your answers should be colored. Number two, you can see, has the first sound colored. Number three has the first sound colored. Number four, it was the second one. Number five, it was the last one. Number six, it was the second one. Number seven, it was the first one. Number eight was the second one. Number nine was the first one, and number 10 was the last one. You see all the pluses here? I gave myself a plus for every one I got right. I'll bet you got them all right too. Check your paper and write how many you got right on your paper. Get ready, now it's time to read the words and then read the words in sentences. You are correct if you said mud. Dud. 
pod. Bid. Bit. But. Mut. Mit. Pit. Pin. Here are your sentences. Read each one. I will read it after you so you can check yourself. Number one, there is mud on the mutt. Number two, the bud was a dud. Number three, I have a mitt for hot food. Number four, he dug a pit. And number five, I will pin the red bud on you. How did you do? Next, we'll practice spelling the words. Now, if you don't have enough room on your paper to write all 10 words, now is a good time to pause the video and go get another piece of paper. I will be waiting. Okay, let's have paper and pencil ready now. You are going to write the numbers 1 to 10 down the side of your page, just like you would for a spelling test at school. Now, when you're finished writing your numbers, I'm going to say each word. Listen carefully and then say the word to yourself. When you have said the word to yourself, as you write, I want you to say each sound. Let me show you what I mean. If I said the word Doug, you would say Doug, then you would say D and write the letter D, A uh, and write the letter U, and G and write the letter G. So are you ready? Let's begin. Now listen carefully to each word. I will say the word once. I will use it in a sentence. And then I will give you the next word. And when we're finished, I'll go back over the whole list so that you can hear them all again. Now, if I go too fast, just pause the video until you've caught up. Here we go. Here's number one, mud. I have mud on my feet. Number two, dud. The firecracker was a dud. Number three, bud. The bud did not bloom. It was a dud. Number four, bid. Place a bid at the auction. Bid. Number five, bit. I bit an apple. Bit. Number six, but. I want to come to school but I can't. 
but number seven mutt my dog is a mutt he has no pedigree Number eight, mitt. Do you have a catcher's mitt? Number nine, pit. Peaches have a pit in the middle. And number 10, pin you can pin a flower on your collar pin okay here's the list one more time number one was mud number two was dud number three bud number four bid number five bit number six but number seven mutt number eight mitt number nine pit and number ten pin now let's check to see how you did now here is your list of words. Check your list, what you wrote, against this list and see how many you got right. Next we will be writing the words in sentences, just like you read them in sentences. As a matter of fact, you will be writing the same sentences. So listen carefully to the sentences as I say them. Write what I say. I will speak slowly, give you only a few words at a time, and if I go too fast, just stop the video and start it again when you are ready. Listen carefully. Here are your sentences. I will say them slowly, and I will say them twice for you. Here we go. Number one, there is mud. on the mutt. There is mud on the mutt. Number two, the bud was a dud. Number two again, the bud was a dud. Number three, I have a mitt for hot food. I have a mitt for hot food. Number four, he dug a pit. He dug a pit. And number five, I will pin the red bud on you. One more time. I will pin the red bud on you. All right, let's go and look at your sentences and compare them to what they're supposed to look like. Check your sentences. Count every word that you spelled right. 
There are 30 words in all. If you spelled all 30 words right, you have 100%. On the side here, you can see how many words you needed to spell to get a 90% or 85%, 80% or 75%. We like to see everyone getting at least an 85%. So count your words and see how many you spelled correctly and give yourself a grade. Great job, you finished your lesson. I hope you come back and play Sound Stars with me another day soon. Have a great day.